Hey, we back. I'm here on Discord and we are, of course, talking about Karuta. Um, now, on my Discord server the other day, we were talking about something that I thought was reasonably interesting, which is how quickly can you possibly get someone to max toughness? Uh, max toughness, if you are not aware, is one of the uh, worker stats. If I just look at whatever character card I got last, this one, here we go. Uh, you can see there is a toughness value here, which increases the effort. Um, it starts at F and it goes up to S, obviously. Uh, and there's two ways to get increased toughness. Uh, the first way is if people try to snipe the card and you fought them off, uh, the more people that you try to fight, the higher the toughness value will be. Um, but if not, uh, it's an action you can take when you visit. Uh, so if I go onto the visit command, for instance, and go to actions, I can probably find it here on uh, on Yuki. There we go. Toughness. Increase toughness by one grade. You uh, lose 80 affection points. Um, and as it says, it goes up by one grade. So in order to max that out from F all the way up to S, you need to do it a total of five times, which is 400 affection points. And as you can imagine, getting 400 affection points takes a while. However, the question is, how quickly can you possibly do it? We're going to ignore the fact that you can obviously increase toughness by having stuff sniped because that kind of defeats the whole point. Uh, you could do it instantly then. Um, but uh, other than that, everything's, everything's game. Um, <coughs> So, maybe a little bit of maths included in this one, uh, but it should be pretty simple. So to start off, uh, it's worth mentioning that you're going to have to have at least 80 AR, affection rating. Uh, this is due to two reasons. One, uh, because you have to have uh, enough AR to actually unlock the ignore action in the first place. Uh, but secondly, because the fastest way to get AP is through dates. Uh, the maximum possible amount that you can get in a date is 80 AP, um, but that is only true if the shopping mall is on the date board, which adds 30 AP normally. Normally the maximum is 50. I've actually done a video on how to get 50 AP from a dating board. Uh, of course it's not possible on most dating boards. I would say average that you get from a dating board is 30, maybe 35 AP per date. Um, so that's a, a pretty reasonable amount. Moving on with those assumptions, how quickly can you get the AR? Uh, well. I'm going to plug the visit action in again. We can have a look at actions. As you can see through this uh, reminisce action, or before it's here, I think it's tell a joke, um, you can spend uh, some AP to get some AR. Now, this does not look like one to one ratio because, of course, my affection rating on Yuki is really high, but trust me when I say this is normally a one to one ratio. Uh, you spend an amount of affection points and you get that amount of affection rating. That is true up until you hit 80. And when you're going for toughness, you don't need to go over 80 AR. So uh, you're going to get uh, one to one. Now, in theory, you could use Hug, which gives you slight better than one to one, but only when the percentage chance is over 75%. That's just how the maths works. I'm not going to go through that. But trust me, all right, it's not worth doing hugs until your percentage is over 75%. Uh, so we're going to ignore them because by the time you've got to 75%, you're almost at, uh, at 80 AR anyway. So hugs are pretty much useless before then. Uh, and of course, later on, you can do kisses, which have an even better ratio. Okay, we're down to talking, right? When you talk, you get three AP and three AR. Because of this top action, you can convert the AP into AR, so that's basically 6 AR. Every time you visit and you spend your, fifth, uh, your 5 energy, you're getting 15 AR. How often are you visiting them? Well, personally, I have a, every time I'm going to visit someone, I have a look at my affection list, and I do it in kind of a rotation. I base this off the green car, whether I've got the date or not, and I pick someone that I can date. Um, of course, where it's an example, and I can't date them because I don't have enough AR anyway, I just try and throw them in the rotation and, and kind of treat keep track of it myself, you know. Um, so, uh, assuming you're awake for, I don't know, 16 hours or so, you're dating each character once every 10, that's two dates per day, right? Uh, and so, let's say the same rules for the, uh, the non-dating characters, you're visiting them twice per day. Right? When you first visit them, you have five energy to spend. However, you don't only get that five energy, because then after two hours when your visit cooldown is up, you can then visit someone else, and you have the two extra energy to spend first. You actually get seven energy every time you visit them. 
So with your seven energy, what are you doing? Well, obviously you're talking. You're not going to get every question correct. In theory, you do get all, all the questions correct. And as we mentioned, you get six uh, AR per question correct. Uh, so we could do seven times six and say you get 42 AR per visit. But that's not very realistic because you're not going to get all the questions correct. Uh, let's assume you get four of them correct. You get maybe one of them wrong and you get two of them neutral, right? So what you're going to get, you're going to get four of them correct, which is four times six, 24. And then the neutral ones do nothing and your one wrong is going to remove three. Not remove six, mind, because it doesn't take away your AP. It's only going to remove three, right? So you take away three, you're now at 21. So every time you visit, you get 21 AR, right? So if you're doing that twice per day, uh, you can see quite easily that uh, 21 goes into 80 reasonably nicely. It's four times. So that's two days. Okay? You spend two days getting your character all the way up to 80 AR. And once you're at 80 AR, of course, you can start dating. So as I said before, let's assume you get an average of 30 AP per date. I think that sounds reasonable. It makes the math nice. As I said, also, you're visiting twice per day. Therefore, you're dating twice per day. And that is giving you, therefore, 60 AP per day. However, you also have the talks. And we've said you get seven energy. You're spending two of that in order to do the date. And so you have five left. Again, let's go with a 60%-ish uh, approximation on number of questions right you're doing five energy five talks this is going to be three correct one wrong and one neutral that's nine ap per visit you can do the nine plus 30 which is pretty trivial to do that's going to be 39 obviously multiply that by two because you're visiting twice per day and that's basically 80 right and basically 80 per day now of course we've already mentioned that toughness increase is about 80 and so if you're getting 180 lot per day that takes you five days to get five toughness increases that's some easy maths like i said so you add that onto the two days that you had at the start and it's now getting you seven days to max out your uh, toughness from scratch uh, so that's what i would say if you're trying to max out toughness and you're reasonably competent probably takes about a week however this is not as as quickly as it can be because of course if you visit more if you are good with the dates or if you're good with the questions then you're going to get it a bit faster there is one other way to get it a bit faster which i will briefly mention at the end of this video here because if you go into actions and you go all the way to the back there is the confess love action permanently increases energy to 10 and replenishes five energy this makes a big difference. Now, would I recommend doing this? No, no, not at all, because it's not really worth doing, to be perfectly honest. Uh, it costs way too many gems to get a confession, and then all you get is some extra energy. However, let's just suppose you did decide to do the confess love action. You would then be getting 10 energy every time you visited, plus the extra two from when you went to another character afterwards. So that's now 12 energy. Um, and you get an extra free five energy straight away. Let's just be ridiculously optimal for a second and see how quickly we could do this. Let's suppose that you visit your character for the first time, you get every question correct, right? So you're now getting five times six in terms of energy, which is already 30. Then you can do confess love and get another five energy, which is another 30 um, AR. So you're now at 60 AR. You only need to wait another two hours to get to 80 AR and then another two hours to get your first date. So you've now done four hours. You can already get You've already got your 80 AR. You do your first date. Let's be ridiculously optimistic once again and say that you get the whole 80 AP from that. You're four hours in. You've already got 80 AR and a toughness modifier. You can see that this can be this can be really fast, right? Then you can wait 10 hours. And of course, instead of the five energy that you would have, you now have 10 energy. So you come back, you do... Uh, you do your date, get a, let's again be ridiculously optimistic and say you get another 80 AP, that's the second toughness modifier, and then you have 8 energy left to spend.
right? So you spend that eight. Don't you? In fact, you'd have ten left to spend uh, because you'd get the extra two when you went off and dated someone else two hours later. So you know you get ten times three, which is another thirty AP. That means every time you're visiting, you get a hundred and ten AP. I don't think it's it's a stretch of the imagination to imagine from there it's going to take you about three more visits to max out toughness, given the one that you've already got, and that takes you about thirty six hours to do because we're assuming twelve hours between dates now to max out that energy value. Okay, so. 36 hours plus the four that I mentioned at the start, 40 hours. This is less than two days. You max out toughness. Uh, that's about as optimistic as I can imagine it. To be fair, um, that's with the maximum amount of AP got from dates, the maximum amount of AP got from talking, and of course the confessed love action. Is this ever going to happen? No, because you can't get that lucky. Uh, you can't know the talks that well. Uh, it's just not realistic, and most people are never going to be using the confessed love action either. Uh, but that was just—I just thought I'd do that to demonstrate how quickly you can theoretically get it. I would say it probably takes you a week, um, and if you're being maybe a little more uh, chilled with your. Uh, your talk actions and your dates, maybe not visiting as often, only visiting once per day or something. Maybe that'll take you two weeks, something like that. So it's not too bad in terms of uh, maxing out the toughness. Um, but yeah, anyway, uh, that's all I wanted to talk about today. Just let you guys know some statistics, basically. Do a bit of math. Sound good. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed. Hopefully you didn't think that I messed anything up, because I don't think I did, but you're welcome to point it out if I did. Um, and I, I hope I considered everything everything that's possible in terms of getting AP. Uh, so yeah. Anyway, I'll leave this one here. Bye!